Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I got for my 19th birthday, 2019, whatever. There's more than I thought, not from like family, from like friends. So, and myself, I bought a lot of my own birthday presents. Let's just start with like uh, what I got from like my family. I don't really understand this card, mum, personally, but you know. Um, you know that with like a whole bunch of writing on the inside to go with the if you don't understand that whole thing the in sh inside should help I don't know if that helped actually but yeah I got a card and then inside the card was $200 so that's what I got for my family now I'm going to move on to what my boyfriend got me because I'm sure anyone who watches the videos where he's in it they're always asking for more tape so I'm sure people would be curious um, as to what he got me, and that's a great question, where is it? Oh. He got me these two Morphe products, so he got me the 25L palette from Morphe and the Morphe Continuing, what? Continuous Setting Mist, that's what I got from him. I had like a little birthday party on the weekend, on the 29th of June, um, my birthday was the 25th of June, for that I tried to get Tate to make sure that no one really knew it was for my birthday because I didn't want presents but people obviously kind of figured it out and um, yes. I got three presents which I felt very bad for receiving so I was just like you didn't need to get me presents but it was it was cute. Um, so for Archer, one of Tate's best friends, got me a box of favourites. So. Thank you, Archer. And then I don't have these physically here with me because I accidentally left them at Tate's house. But I guess that doesn't really matter because if I'm going to be drinking more often than not, I'm drinking at Tate's house anyway. So it's kind of best that I left them there. <sighs> Why was that a mouthful? From Daniel, I got a four pack of cruises. So I can insert a picture. And then from his brother, Ben, I got... I don't know what they're called. I can't remember what they're called. I can know. I know what they look like. I'll put a picture here, but I can't remember what they're called. I can't remember what they're called for the life of me. But there's a picture of me. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so that's what I got from that gathering thing that I had, and then from Indigo, which is my best friend. There's a lot. <laughs> she got me a lot so I'm probably gonna miss a few things because I'm very forgetful and I started putting things away like an idiot instead of gathering things in a pile I knew I was filming this video but when I when I had a present and everything like that put it in this big thing I started like packing it all away into where it should go even though my room's a mess that doesn't make sense why was I doing that anyway so I tried to get as much out of it what as much of it out as I could I wanted to have earrings on for this I forgot let me put my earrings on <laughs> before I get into indigo stuff I also forgot to say um, from my mum as well she let me go and get my nails done and she paid for it so that's also what I got from her anyways um, moving on to indigo I don't really remember what I was saying before I realized I forgot to put my earrings on but um basically I put a lot of the stuff that she got me away or I've like already used it or eaten it or whatever um, so that's a bit annoying. Like I said, I knew I was filming this video and I still freaking sabotaged myself. But it all came in this big bag. It was heavy, guys. It was so heavy. I was like, um, what the fuck is in this? Um, anyway, so let's, let's go through that, shall we? I can tell you exactly what was in it. A lot of the things was stuffed in these two little bags. I have these two little bags now. So that's, that's one thing. She got me... My favourite makeup wipes have been the... 
future Jane ones and she got me a two pack of them let me just throw that on the ground because I'm messy um two pack of them and one of them is at my boyfriend's house I believe I left it there or it might be one of these two packs that I have either side of me you can tell they're my favorite can't you um yeah so I haven't opened this one yet and I don't plan to because I have two open ones either side of me and one at my boyfriend's house but I'm pretty sure the one that I got from her I took to my boyfriend's house because it was a fresh pack anyways it's besides the point um she also got me Burt's Bees special cleansing tablets. On the line with the whole skincare, I guess. Let's dive into this. Okay, so what really? Okay, well, even going on with the the Neutrogena makeup wipes, what really surprised me is you don't realize how much someone listens until they give you presents, and you're like, how did you know? And then you think about it, like, yeah, maybe I've mentioned it once or twice, but only briefly. And like, how did you remember? Like it mind-boggling how she kind of knew that those were my favorites and she remembered and bought them for me like that was like the sweetest thing that will seem like nothing to anybody else but just how little I talk about them or how little I have talked about them and for her to go out of her way and buy them it's just like like it, it hits you in a different spot when you realize like wow they really listen mum can you stop the banging anyways it's the same thing with this. So she got me the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing um, Scrub thing in my box. Yep, good job. One time I told her that I bought this for Tate's house and I have it at Tate's house and I keep it there, but I don't have one for home. So she bought me one for home. Like, how do you even think of that? I wouldn't have thought like, oh, she doesn't have one for home, I'll get her one. That wouldn't have even crossed my mind. Like, mind blown. And when we were talking about this, we were talking about how we have both used this one before as well. So she got me a miniature one of this one, which is the Sinai Sponge Control Apricot Scrub. Um, and we were talking about how this one has like harsher, like little scrub bits in it, but you know, that it works well. And she got me one, like one time. We talked about it one time, just like it was just like in a conversation. It wasn't like, I want one. She just above and beyond above and beyond i was like what another thing <laughs> is we were in chemist warehouse and um she went past this and it's the dead sea peel off mask and she was just like ew dead sea no thanks and i ended up telling her i was like oh no the dead sea is like actual like an actual place and it's just like a really salty sea and it's meant to be really good for your skin and skincare and everything like that so that's why this exists and it's meant to be really good for you so then she was kind of like oh okay and she kind of came around to the idea and she bought me two of them above and beyond what did I say and then I love silver things can you can you tell can you tell can you tell that I like silver I don't know if you can tell um <laughs> and she bought me a platinum peel off mask insane okay I have bleached my hair and I have really damaged hair damage repair nourishing she freaking listens I tell you I also ran out of my favorite perfume which is this one guess who bought it indigo but wait she didn't buy one she bought two this girl's heart okay I love her so much she you can see why she's my best friend <laughs> um, I don't have the other one on me I left it at my boyfriend's house on purpose so I have one there and one here so I don't have to travel with it back and forth um, which I thought was pretty cool that I get to do that so thank you indigo like what the heck I've had this one before I don't remember if we've talked about this before if we have then like it was a really long time ago and she must have a stupid good memory but um yeah, I've owned this one before and my family used it on me. This was when, this is in 2017 that I had this and my family used it on me and I wasn't happy about it because like, it was mine and my whole family used it on me. She bought it. I don't know if she intentionally bought this one because she remembered that story or if it was just a coincidence, but either way. Um, 
Now these two aren't anything that I've spoken about before. I've never seen these in my life, but, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my Lord, it's slippery. She got me these, oh my God, little things. Super cute, super cute, super cute. They smell so good as well. And then she also got me the Palm Olive Batache. The Palm Olive Rich Moisture Milk and Honey Shower. Milk, shower milk, okay. Um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool as well. So this, I don't think I'm spoken about. If I have, I don't know why, but she just got that. Um, but there's more, there's more fun. That's not it. The list keeps going, guys. When I tell you that bag was heavy, I mean that bag was heavy. That's not it. One of my favorite drinks like ever is strawberry milk because it reminds me of my dad because he would, um, he moved up to Queensland when I was younger. Um, but when he was down here, every single time I saw him, I would get a strawberry milk. So she bought me a strawberry milk. It's, it's empty, obviously. <laughs> I drank it on the day. But um, that was really thoughtful. My favourite chips are honey soy chicken chips. And she bought me those. And as you can see, they are also empty. She also bought me a pineapple sparkling infusion drink. As you can see, also empty. But again, just wait. I've never had this before, but she knows I love pineapple. So she got me a pineapple drink. Bless her. She didn't just buy me one though. She bought me two. But also, she bought me three. So, they're all empty. And I drank them all on the same night that I got them. That's how good they were. So, <laughs> let's not talk about it. I'm not proud. She asked what sort of Coles cake was my favourite, so we could have cake, and I told her, like, if she's going to get me a cake, then the chocolate mud cake, but I don't, like, it's not my favourite. My favourite are the chocolate chip muffins. So she got me a four pack of the chocolate chip muffins. There's only one left. Okay, okay. I love Oreos. A pack of Oreos. She also got me two tinned cans of pineapple. Trying to remember if there was anything else that she got me specifically. She would know when she's watching this. She'd be like, oh, you forgot this. And I'll be like, oh, fuck. I feel like that wasn't it. That bag was heavy. Oh, she also got me pineapple lumps. The, what a photo. Pineapple lumps. Um, Indigo, when you're watching this, I love you. And you know that I love pineapple. And I don't mind pineapple lumps. But to me, they're a bit sickly. But pineapple lumps are one of my mum's favourite lollies ever. So I decided to share them with her. It's the thought that counts because she, you know, connect the dots, pineapple, chocolate, you know. But yeah, they're, for me, they're a bit sickly. We spent the day at her house um, and just kind of chatting and stuff like that. Not my birthday, the day after. Um, and yeah, I feel like there's more, but I can't remember. So I've either already used it, eaten it, whatever. It's... Um, but yeah, so that's what I got from Indigo. Love you, Indigo, so much. Bless your soul. And now we're gonna move on to presents that I got for myself, and there's a lot of them. So if you wanna know like my main present that I got for myself, you're going to have to stay tuned for my Beauty Bay haul. That's coming out soon, and that'll have like 17 items that I got for myself for my birthday, but that was all from Beauty Bay, and that's a whole other video in itself. But I did also get myself the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, which is what I have on my eyes right now, actually. That video coming out. I got that. Oh, I should probably show you the inside, huh? So, yeah. Boohoo. What I got from Boohoo. I got these little nipple cover things. Um, let me explain. Hang on. I also got this lacy fluoro yellow body suit but um yeah I was thinking about wearing this on the weekend to my little gathering and I was going to put these over my nipples so you couldn't see through it you know what I mean so you know no nip slips um but it ended up being a bit colder so I was like mm, nah I'll save that for like summer or something like that you know what I mean um you know how like all those pretty ass Instagram models wear like those lace body suits with jeans and stuff yeah that's what I was picturing but it didn't end up happening 
because instead I wore, which is also from Boohoo, I had a backup plan, see? I had a backup plan for if it was going to be nice weather or cold weather. And I mean, it's winter. I don't know who I was kidding. So, obviously chose the cold weather one. So, I ended up wearing, I ended up wearing this bodysuit because it had long sleeves on it. So, yeah, I got that. Also, as another backup plan, I got... Mum. I got this black one. But it's a black bodysuit with long sleeves as well. But it's like got mesh all the way down the front. Um, but when I tried it on, it cut a lot lower than I was expecting. So I didn't end up wearing this one. But I will be wearing it because it's beautiful. But just, yeah, not for then. Let me just chuck that in that basket. Score. I'm amazing. Next, we're going to be moving on to what I got from Cotton On. Um, if you've seen my Instagram and my like birthday photo, you can see the set I'm wearing. This is the bra for from that set that I got. Um, and I can't find the undies for the life of me. So they're probably in the wash. That's probably why I can't find them. But yeah, I got that. I also got this yellow yellow bra and then i went to jj's with indigo and we bought matching t-shirts wear cute or whatever and it just looks like that it's just like a it's a men's um big tie-dye thing on the front it says have a beach and day and then on the back it says have a beach and day it's just the same thing but a lot bigger and this is a men's large, I believe. Because, yeah, I wanted something, like, oversized. And we matched each other as well, so. Mm, we're so cute. I also went to Supre, and I've always wanted just a basic black dress. I feel like it's a staple item that everyone needs. It's just, like, basic black dress. Um, and I don't have one, so I bought one. Um, this is a Supre Extra, Extra Small. And it was only $7.00. If I can find a photo, I'll put it up because, again, it's really hard to show clothes on camera. But it's just like a basic black dress. It has the spaghetti straps. And then, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but it has, like, built-in shape to it. So, can you see that it curves outwards here? but like, cinches in here. Can you see that? Like how it goes. It has built in shape to make you look like curvy or whatever. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot for me because I'm not curvy so it didn't really work. But it is cute and yeah I don't like, I think the straps personally too long. They're not adjustable which is a bit of a problem. Um, I think they're too long so I'm going to need to like probably like tie it at the back or something like that. I don't really know but yeah, just got that. I also went to Kmart and I just realised I don't have them with me. Got the pants that I'm wearing which are just basic black trackies and then I also got grey ones. And then I also got two men's t-shirts again because they were like $4 each so I was like, um, why not? Um, this one is in a extra large because I really like my oversized t-shirts just for comfort. Um, and it just looks like that. It's just basic. I just liked the colour. So these are all for lounging around in. So I don't really give a shit what they look like. Um, and then yeah. Another one. It's just stripey. And this one is in a large. $4. And then I went to Big W. And did the same sort of thing. How much were these? These were $4 as well. And this is an extra large. It's just a black top like the V sort of style, style neck. Can you tell I like being able to just lounge around in just comfy clothes? Um, this is a large in like a normal style top. It's just blue. Royal blue. And then I also got it in aqua. I think it's plain aqua. Yep. Plain aqua. I think this is also a V neck though. Yep. In extra large. So, yep, comfort 
and then I also got a knit top pullover hoodie in large and this was twelve dollars so it's just a basic grey hoodie I was gonna say black then um, and yeah I got that and also for my birthday um, I ruined this Morphe sponge so I bought myself a new one it's dirty I just used it for this so sorry um, and then I also bought <laughs> this ultra sheer body mist sunscreen spray from Eugenia um, for that whole natural glowy type of look um, oh okay so that's why I bought that in winter I'm not sunbathing in winter it's just Scott Barnes trick from the Tati video if you've seen it then you know you know if you know you know you know you know um, and then from Chemist Warehouse, I got these four pack of makeup remover towelette thingy mint bobs. So, yeah, two of them are at my boyfriend's house, and I'll keep two of them here. And then from Rimmel, the Lasting Finish Primer. I also got the Radiant Primer, and I also got the Rimmel Stay Matte, Stay Matte Powder. And then from L'Oreal, I got the L'Oreal Infallible longwear shaping stick foundation in 220 toffee because I was gonna you know contour contour stick so I used to have this foundation back in 2017 and um, I remember liking it it's gonna suck if I actually didn't and I'm just remembering it incorrectly but I remember liking it but it's $25 a bottle but it was also half price, so um, I decided to actually get it because I've been waiting for it to go on sale. Half price, I, like, I was expecting it to go down like 20% because um, this is never on sale. But no, it was half price, so you best believe that I snatched one up real quick. This is in the shade. I'd love to tell you. Golden Ivory. That looks too light for me, but I've got bronzer all over my face. Um, that's a better interpretation. So, yeah. And I also got the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation in shade 10 Porcelain. Because I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I wanted to give this a try. I think that's all I bought for myself. I think. No, it's not. I think it was like a month before my birthday, probably not even, um, I bought myself an early, early birthday present because I can always get 10% off more for you, I can use any code under the fucking sun, but for 20% off I was like I'm not turning that down and they had just launched the 39S palette so I snatched that up with the, with the 30, 20, 20, 20% off code. Um, and I considered it an early birthday present for myself because I wouldn't normally, I just, I just dug the biggest hole into that. That is so sad. Let's try and scrape some of it back in. Um, so yeah, I, I snatched that up real quick. Um, so yeah, that was also a birthday present from myself to myself, whatever. From my boyfriend's parents, I got little card as well look how cute that card is way better than the card that I got from my mom <laughs> sorry mom um, she knows I'm always cold she knows me well so she got me a little uh, reusable hand warmer which is super cute it's a little unicorn you see that it's a little unicorn um, so she got me that and then I also okay let me grab that real quick I have the like original Britney Spears perfume but whenever I'm in chemist warehouse I'm always eyeing down like the other ones that she has that are in like the similar bottle and I wanted to build my collection up so she bought me the fantasy in blue and the sunset fantasy one mm -hmm. what are we having for dinner Yes, 
so this is one I originally had. And she bought me these two. Look how pretty this one is. It's not doing it justice. I need a white background. Okay, that's not completely white, but can you see? It's so pretty. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I can literally just show you the box. It's on the box. That's what it looks like. It's so pretty. So yeah, she bought me that one. It smells so beautiful. <laughs> Words are hard apparently. It smells super good. Mm. And then she also bought me this one. Um, and this one is the one I wore for my gathering. I like sprayed like, 20 sprays of this all over my body because it smells so good. I definitely overdid it, but I don't know. It just smells so like fresh. It smells like a bubble bath or something like I don't know. A somewhat plasticky bubble bath. Like. I don't know. It's like a s sort of plasticky, but like, it, I'm, the reason I'm saying that is because it smells like cherry. So obviously those freaking cherry blossoms. Um, it smells like cherry, but like the the fake cosmetic kind that you'd smell as a kid in like lip balm. It smells like that. My mouth. Oops. And then from my boyfriend's like extended family, next time I see them, which isn't for a bit, like I see them on the 27th of June. I mean, hello, that's past. On the 27th of July, um, which is still a bit away for me. Um, that's also my dad's birthday and Maddie Arena's birthday, if she's ever watching this. But um, yeah, so that kind of sucks that, that that has to be on my dad's birthday, but He'll understand and he'll be okay with it, I'm sure. He's very understanding. Um, so yeah, I'm going down to Goulburn. Goulburn, that's the one. I'm um, going down to Goulburn to see them. And I have a fairly good idea that I'm going to be getting another two Britney Stitts Beers perfumes. Um, I'll put up on the screen the ones I think I'm getting because those are the ones that I told Tate to send to his mum because she wanted she needed to know what I wanted you know what I mean so I would assume that because he sent those that she's going to say to get those that's just that would make sense in my head so yeah that's what I'm going to assume but it might not even be um, but I think I'm getting these I think so that'd be cool um, but then back on to what I bought for myself because I forgot to include these. Sorry if you can hear them yelling in the background. But I also got four nail polishes uh, from um, Blooms the Chemist. These are Ulta 3 nail colours. This one is a fluoro yellow in citrus. This one is like a fluoro coral um, in Tahiti. This one is a fluoro orange in Atomic OJ. <laughs> And this one is bouquet, and it's like in a duochrome, like a almost maroony color mixed with like the purple iridescentness in it as well. So yeah, it's a lot easier if I just held two up at a time. I got those four nail polishes that I forgot to mention for myself because I bought them for myself. So yeah, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, also, I'm going to quickly put a little disclaimer in by no means at all was this video to brag or whatever. I enjoy watching these videos, so I made one. You know, I'm going to I'm going to make what I enjoy watching. So I made this video because I enjoy watching them myself. No, it wasn't to brag. So don't even come at me with that comment because I know the people that make these videos always get those comments. No, just no, okay? So yeah, I just wanted to quickly put that disclaimer in so no one's gonna think that that's what this is about because it's not at all. That would be really stupid and like disgusting. But anyways, um, yeah. I think that's it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it.
Alrighty guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video. If you're new to the channel, you should join the family by making the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition of the letter D at the end as well. I make new videos every Sunday and sometimes Wednesday, so be sure to turn on post notifications to be alerted of those up and coming videos as well as following my social medias to be alerted on there also. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and don't forget, Everything's going to be okay in the end, and if it's not okay, it's not the end. Cue the outro.